G'day guys, Michael Tammets here. Uh, this is a tutorial, um, is a remake of the um, first tutorials of the Maya plugin due to the due to some YouTube algorithm problem that caused um, quality in the video to deteriorate, and that the uh, scene um, didn't offer a, like didn't show the true potential of the uh, Maya plugin. So here's a more in-depth um, version of it, showing more more stuff more fun stuff and to show you the true power of the Maya plugin. So first we're going to start out with the um, notes since the website writing was very pixelated and it was uh, very messed up. So first is you, um, in order to buy the Maya plugin you're going to have to buy the Octane Render standalone version which can be on the which is on the web website render.otto.com shop. There's a standalone, there's a 3ds Max, and the Mayor. You have to buy the standalone and then the Mayor, or you can buy a bundle pack, which is cheaper. Once you've purchased those two, you'll want to make sure that your drivers are in order. Uh, make sure you have the, if you have the 500 series card, then you get the 500, the latest 500. If you have the 400 series, you get the latest 400. Be sure that if you have the 600 series card, that uh, it is supported in Octane Render, but it is extremely slow, extremely slow. So, once you've purchased the uh, Octane Render Maya license, um, be sure to have Maya, um, the actual program, obviously, which can be um, found here. You can buy it or get a student license. To get the Maya plugin itself, you're going to have to go to the plugin um, support area in the forum. This is after you have your, you've been a, you've been awarded your purple named status um, and your ability to log in. Uh, the current one is for beta 2.58k. Click the post. Um, the creator of it is called Jimstar. Send him any messages um, if you have any problems. And here you have the um, download installer. So download that and install it. The installation is very simple. Um, it was, uh, you're going to have to pick uh, which version of Maya you have. I have the 2012 64 bits version, so I check that and I press next and next. Then finish. So, open up Maya and we'll get started. Now the first thing you will have to do once you've opened once you've installed the plugin is that you have you're going to have to go to window settings and plugin manager. Then you're going to have to scroll down to Octane Render and you're going to have to click loaded and auto load. Press refresh and close. That activates Octane Render and it will make and it will um, activate it. Then you'll see a tab here that says Octane Render, and here you see some icons and such. These are the following icons. These are your materials, the four main materials, Glossy, Speckler, Diffuse, and Emitter. You have your camera, you have your environment, you have your Convert Maya materials to Octane, you have your Convert Selected Maya materials to Octane, you have your Start, Reload, Render, Pause, Stop, and you have the User Manual. To um, access your uh, rendering kernel information and your Octane Live information, you have to click this following icon. You're going to have to check the Maya software to Octane Render. And here you'll see the standard common um, options such as the file size, the image size, file output, color management. You s here you have your Octane Render settings, which will be all of your uh, render kernel um, options, your Octane Live database, and your Qt devices. This will be ch unchecked um, for the newcomers, so check both of these or check one of them if you have one graphics card. And then you have your Octane Live account. I don't want to click it since it has my personal information on there. So, once you've um, started all of this, once you've gotten all of this, um, we're going to be making or 
Getting used to our first scene. This tutorial is supposed to be a more generalized tutorial, not a specific uh, specified area in the tutorial. It's to give you a grasp on how to set the materials of all materials, how to set up your world, and your camera. And this scene will be uploaded in a RAW file along with the uh, Maya file also, and the textures. So, the first thing we're going to do um, is to set up the rendering uh, viewport. So, click this scene here, and here it will be um, th this um, render viewport will be over here. The first thing we're going to have to do is put down a camera. So, in order to set up your Octane render camera, you're going to have to click this camera icon here. Click on the ending tip, you can move it and it will change the focusing and the uh, direction of the camera. Or you can move into the, the perspective of the actual Octane Render Camera by going to Panels, Perspective and Camera 1. And here you see the you are now in the Octane Render Camera and use the standard controls to move around the camera. Whenever I go into the camera viewport I like to select the film gate and the resolution gate which can be found in these these two um, icons here. So, let's you know start the render. In order to start the render, you're going to have to open up your rendering uh, viewport, go to IRP, IRP render, and go to camera 1. You're adding a Sun Sky node. So in order to do that, create, click the Octane Sun Sky environment, and here you'll see a orange light. Press refresh and then it will show up in the render viewport. And as you can see any movement will be shown instantaneously. Now uh, for some reason the uh, field of view is um, out of focus so in order to do that you click out of it, click on your camera. You can either change the settings in this window here or you can go to the attributes editor click on the uh, camera again and go to the Octane camera. Do not go to the camera attributes, it stuffs it up from I've learned this from experience, so instead just go to the Octane camera options. Alright, so now we're going to have to move the sun texture out. The sky node, we're going to have to click uh, on the actual environments, a uh, yellow object, uh, click texture, texture environment to day and night sim, or day and light environment. Rotate the sun node, down, and as you can see where the red um, dot is pointed, it will show the sun. And we want to have to get a good positioning here. We're going to have to change the field of view on the camera. So you click on the camera. That looks pretty good. Now we are going to change the rendering kernel settings to something that um, shows something more, much more realistic. So we're going to have to go to the render ring settings. Go to uh, yep. Go to your Octane render settings. Go to direct lighting. Oh, and actually, stand direct lighting but we're going to change the ambient occlusion to diffuse. And we're going to bump up some settings. Just to make it a bit more vivid. Alright, so, um, and as you can see, any interaction is also real-time fed into the viewport. So now that we've placed our um, materials and now that we've placed our objects into our scene and we have our scene set up along with the camera and the environment we are now going to add some materials now any interaction any interaction you have with any mesh you're going to have to reload the the um, the viewport so click this button which will restart the render and will show the changed mesh And there you go.
Okay, so now the first um, two, in order to put down materials, we're going to have to do the following.